Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've introed like this. Um, I'm especially intro like this because on my Instagram I put out um, the idea of doing a celeb look, a celeb inspired look, and I gave you three different choices and the winner of those choices was the Lana Del Rey look. So this is my inspired Lana Del Rey look. If you guys want to see how I did it, just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already applied a full face on with my foundation and everything. If you guys want to see a flawless foundation routine, do check the description box below for a link to that video. So let's get this look started. The first product I'll be using is Maybelline's Color Tattoo Metal 24 Hours in color Barely Nude. I'm just going to go ahead and use my fingers to apply it all over my lid and also bring it a little bit out to create a slight wing. Next, using this dark pressed powder from CoverGirl, I'm just going to apply this into the crease of my eyes to create a soft, smoky brown effect. Grabbing my handy dandy Naked palette, I'm going to go ahead and use the first color version and I'm going to apply that all over my lids once again, right over the barely nude eyeshadow. And for this look, you want to do a lot of blending to make sure your lines and the eyeshadows are just smoothly running into each other rather than having harsh lines. Going back to the Naked palette, I'm going to grab a dark horse which is a very dark but lovely eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that right into the crease once again and bring it a little bit up onto the brow bone just to create that contrast of the white and darker crease. Now I'm going in with Dark Horse again using an angled brush just to darken it up a bit and also bring it down into the inner corner right outside of the Virgin eyeshadow. Using my NYX Wonder Pencil, I'm just going to go ahead and line my bottom water lines and this is going to give me that doe eye effect that Lana Del Rey always has. Going in with a Dark Hearts eyeshadow and an angled brush, fill in and line your bottom lashes. This is going to make your bottom lashes look a lot more fuller. Using my favorite gel eyeliner, ink lot number 77, I'm going to create a very simple thick wing. I'm curling my lashes so I can prep them before I put on my falsies. Using MAC Cosmetics Love Joy Blush, I'm applying this to the hollows of my cheek to add a slight contour and warm up my face a bit. I'm also using this bright pinky blush from my BH Cosmetic 10 Color Palette Blush and I'm applying this to the apples of my cheek very lightly and blending it out. Next, using the Barely Nude Eyeshadow, I'm also going to apply this to the higher parts of my cheekbone to create a nice dewy highlighted effect. Using a brow pencil, I'm going to slightly contour my nose just to make it a little bit slender so that it looks like Lana's. And I'm also going to use a brush to just blend out any harsh lines. And using the same brow pencil, I'm going to fill in my brows and give myself those thick, dark brows that Lana always rocks. And to finish off this look, I'm using Brave My Lips by MAC Cosmetics. It's a very natural, nudie pink color and I think it's perfect with this look. And then your look is complete. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And remember that you're absolutely beautiful, and I love you so, 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 so much. And until next time, bye. Mwah.